Angeles. Welcome back to Good Morning Walla Land. So on hashtag Transformation Tuesday, who better to have than Rosalinda Macias, celebrity makeup artist, here to talk about bringing your inner beauty out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Let's talk about beauty. You look like an exotic goddess today. Oh God, I love the Every braid day. and I the gems. All the time. Let's, I love that. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. So you're a friend of Rob's. I am. Yes. How did you two meet? This is Starbucks. What? Yeah, years yep. ago, I had a book, and uh, Anthony DeMello, and uh, it's all about awareness and spirituality and consciousness. And um, basically, we started talking about other things and talking about the book as well. And she's like, oh my gosh, that's one of my favorite books. I love Anthony DeMello. So we had this entire conversation. And uh, since then, we've just remained the best friends. Rosalinda mm -hmm. is such an incredible person, not only a professional, but just an incredible person. Like her depth is incredible. Mm -hmm. And I've always found that so interesting, um, particularly sort of trying to walk that tightrope in the entertainment industry and also sort of share and demonstrate your true self, right? Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you. So that's beautiful. Thank you so much for that. I, I think that's one of the things that I've struggled with as well, because, um, yes. you know, we're taught that, like you said earlier about, you know, finding your beauty and, and such. And um, I kind of felt conflicted at times because, you know, I don't want anyone to see just, you, you want to see past the physical. Mm -hmm. You know, and so what I do is, you know, makeup and hair. Mm -hmm. And it's like this sort of an, I don't want to say illusion, but kind of, you know, because there's so much more to a person than that. And so um, I, I, I was a little bit conflicted with that because I want also the person that I'm doing makeup on to, to be like, wow, I can look like this and feel amazing, but I can also feel amazing without this. And so it's it's kind of. I, trying to find that is a little bit difficult as a makeup artist because that's my business. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I also try to, you know, make someone feel mm -hmm. like you're a princess. You're you're a prince. Right. We are all children of the universe. And, and you know, mm -hmm. we, we have that same um, essence. And so, so that's true. where your power is. And I think it's important to recognize that your power lies within that. And just because you're presenting yourself, you know, maybe you're most super glammed up, mm -hmm. doesn't take away from that power. It doesn't make people take you less seriously. But as a woman, I know personally that I've experienced that because you show up to a business meeting and you look like a supermodel and nobody takes you seriously. Right. Mm -hmm. So you tone it down. Mm -hmm. You pull it back. So yeah. true. And, and that's hard because we don't want to do that as women. We want to be our best self. How do you handle that? You know, it, it really is starts within you. You know, it's it's just the truth that each person kind of has to experience, and just knowing, uh, discovering that within yourself, saying, you know, I I'm beautiful. You know, I have I have so much to give to the world, uh, not just in a you know your beauty. You are beautiful. Every every person is beautiful, um, and it's just a matter of embracing that. Mm -hmm. And also, wherever you go into, going into it. Um, knowing that your happiness and self-esteem is not going to be dependent on whether they see that or not. Mm -hmm. You so are that way. I think it's, a, it's easy to come away and know these distinctions and be able to say positive kind of quotes, if you will. But was there an actual moment for you? What was the situation for you where you had, where you had to overcome and, and, and realize these things? Oh, it was so many. Hmm. There's been so many. Um, you know, I, I come from very, you know, strong women and men. My, my, the people that I look up to are my brothers and sisters. You know, um, they, they gave me so many tools and, and experiences that, but in, at the end of the day, it's, it's how open I wanted to be to receive. But what was the actual, and I want, I was, I asked this because mm -hmm. I think so many times people, they can't relate. They're like, oh, that sounds great. That's a great principle. That's a great distinction. But what was the actual mm -hmm. situation that happened for you? When I had... wasn't feeling fulfilled with, with even just doing makeup, mm -hmm. I was, I was very divided. I felt like, you know, like I was driving with my brakes on where, where I wanted, I had a gift. I have, I have a gift um, of makeup art and, and art just in general, um, not just makeup. And um, I knew that I wanted to, I knew that I, I wanted to share that with people. And as an independent contractor, you know, uh, it's, it's kind of difficult. And so people see a gift and see what you're doing and say, oh, well, you know, if you do this and you connect with these people and you're going to be successful, you make all this money. And so then you're distracted 
from 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 what you really want to do, from what your fulfillment is. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, it brings me to a story of Anthony. He says, when an archer shoots for no reason, he uses all his skill. When he shoots for brass, he's nervous. Mm -hmm. When he shoots for gold, he loses his mind. He's, he's divided. The skill is there, hmm. but now he's seeing the, the prize. So now he's more concerned with winning versus shooting. Hmm. And so it, and that need to win drains him of his power. So those things were draining me of my power. I knew I had a gift and I knew that I could share. And, and so I was in a sense, you know, distracted by the ambition, mm -hmm. by, the, by the worldly things. And so I had to get back to that, to, to my gift mm -hmm. and, and see like, you know what? I'm gonna do this. If I had no bills, I would do it for free. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's how people yeah. know that that's what right. they have to offer. Mm -hmm. Such an important, and thank you so much for bringing it to a story. Because I think people mm -hmm. learn more from a story analogy than from just, oh, I, this is the way life is. So thank you so much for that. And you're so beautiful. And thank you so much for your job. Mm -hmm. How can people find you? Um, people can find me on uh, my websites. I'm redoing it. Uh, it'll be up uh, by June of this summer, or this summer. Um, makeupbyrosalinda.com. And then in the meantime, you can find me on Instagram at makeupbyrosalinda. Thank you so much. Thank Looking forward to it. So stay tuned, you guys. We talk to two more experts in the realm of transforming your style, your face, and all of the above.